Hey, this is Randy, one of the uh, co-founders and managing directors of Blue Frontiers, and I'm here with one of our advisors. This is JP Thor, came in from Australia. We're in New York at Consensus. Uh, welcome to New York, JP. Thanks, Randy. So I want you to tell the uh, audience a little bit about what you're up to, and, and then we'll talk a little more about why you're involved with Blue Frontiers. Sure, uh, JP from Kenya. We're building a decentralized autonomous marketplace of services to allow anyone to retail the skills and services globally uh, with no borders uh, in a permissionless ecosystem. Yeah, so we're basically uh, disrupting how you can earn free skills and free services. Right. So uh, we had a chance to meet actually in Hong Kong uh, through one of our other advisors who said, you know, JP's uh, you know like-minded. He cares about the environment. He cares about decentralization. Uh, why don't you guys go have a talk? And uh, you know, whatever I said to you uh, wowed you enough to want to become an advisor to us. Uh, what is it that you liked about Blue Frontiers, and you know, why, why, why are you taking your time? Yeah, I, I love the concept of you guys uh, disrupting how we can achieve a, a community of people. Uh, you're redefining how we can govern that community and redefining how you can move in and out. Um, and that's 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 exciting. Uh, you and you're basing it on uh, the concept of uh, and cryptocurrency as the fluidity and liquidity of your community and a new way of governance. And in, in me, the, yeah, even the way that uh, your community is set up, built on uh, seasteading uh, technology, um, I think is uh, very exciting. So. Love to be part of new new things and support your project. Yeah, no, I, it's great. You know, one of the things that in our first conversation we talked about um, is this concern that the, you know Bitcoin is taking up so much energy. You know, and, and as an environmentalist, you know, I'm concerned about you know the you know, the environment. Obviously, it's one of the, one of the tenets of, of seasteading. So, um, but you have this great philosophy about why actually there's a positive side to all the energy that Bitcoin mining takes. Um, maybe you could share that. Yeah, my perspective is that innovation never happens if there's not a, uh, a driving demand for something. And with uh, proof of work, uh, cryptocurrency is driving uh, the, uh, well, it's, it's expensive to mine essentially. But importantly, it's it, you have to m use it, miner using uh, electricity that's less than three cents a kilowatt hour, which currently is driving everything to using renewable energy. So I think the uh, demand for electricity for Bitcoin will uh, advance us towards more renewable energy sources. And with that demand, we will have innovation. Right. Yeah, so the, as the cost of energy, as the demand for Bitcoin increases, the demand for energy is going to increase, and the cost of energy will come down, and eventually we can start having these carbon neutral things. You know, for us, uh, you know, in, in seasteading and in, in floating island development, uh, we have a partner that has a um, you know, work with Microsoft to develop a patent. They've actually, not just a patent, they've actually created an underwater data center uh, that uh, they were able to put the data center underwater because one of the most expensive things about re, uh, keeping a data center is, is air conditioning because they make so much heat. In, in fact, they, in uh, places like Norway or the Netherlands, they'll put data centers in people's houses as heaters now. But uh, you know, out in other places where you're trying to make cool, if you can put it in the water, you can reduce energy costs there. And then there's so much uh, energy opportunities available to us uh, with ocean waves and, and expanding solar out in tropical regions that I think that um, there's a lot of opportunity for uh, people to do uh, cryptocurrency mining uh, on the sea steps. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, do you want to come live on one of the first C6? <laughs> I'd love to take part. I'd love yeah. to be there day one. Day one, yeah. And we'll start having events as soon as our crowd sale is over and, and you can come to one of the events. Awesome. Yeah. So Bye -bye. Anything else you want to share with people that uh, about what you're doing? Yeah, well, I think uh, we're witnessing the greatest redistribution of wealth and the greatest redefinition of what value transfer is. Uh, so if you're if you're not involved in blockchain and decentralized technologies or this movement, then I strongly suggest it. Uh, everything is going to change the way we transfer value, the way we transfer data, the way that we consider governments, the way that we see what communities should be. I'd love to be part of Blue Frontier because we redefine what a community should be. Thanks, JP. Appreciate it. Glad to have you on the team. No worries. Thanks.